everybody, I'm Bobby. Welcome back to the Working Man's Whiskey. Uh, today's whiskey I want to talk about is uh, called Ten Cup. And uh, it's a whiskey from Colorado. Uh, it's a bourbon profile whiskey. Um, which, I mean, although technically it's not a bourbon since it's not from Kentucky. Um, it's, uh, uh, it's got a bourbon profile, which means it's um, mostly corn. Uh, it's usually, it's at least 51% uh, corn in the mash bill, and uh, followed by uh, rye, which uh, I would guess this is probably about a 15% or so rye in the mash bill for this. And then uh, the rest of the um, mash bill is uh, malted barley. So anyway, I wanted to talk about this today because a uh, really good product, uh, Jess Graber. Uh, he also, I think he makes Stranahan's out in Colorado, and uh, uh, he put this out uh, in honor of uh, the pioneers, early pioneers of uh, in Colorado who who uh, drank their whiskey from a tin cup. And uh, cool thing about this bottle here, unscrew the top, still got the little cork in there, there's your tin cup, so we can drink whiskey like uh, the early pioneers of Colorado, and I'm sure other places too, but... Uh, Anyway, um, pretty cool little uh, little perk there. So, anyway, uh, guess we'll crack this open. Give it a little pour. I also want to give a little pour into the tin cup. We'll do a little little shot at the end there. Perfect. Okay. So, and also this is uh, this whiskey. Is also made with uh, um, with uh, Rocky Mountain wa uh, water from the Rocky Mountains, so uh, that's also kind of a cool thing. I know uh, you know a lot of products from Colorado uh, include Rocky Mountain water. You know uh, the Coors products and all that. So um, that's pretty cool though. But uh, you know having a whiskey that has Rocky Mountain water in it. So anyway, um, I'll give you a little bit bit of a better view of the bottle. Um, side a little bit. Um, so this whiskey is uh, 84 proof, 42% uh, alcohol by volume. And uh, what else? Yeah. Anyway, it's uh, 30 bucks. Um, you know, it's right at the top of the uh, line for uh, whiskeys we talk about on here. Um, you know, right there at 30 bucks. I've seen it, I've seen it as low as say 25 on sale. Uh, as high as close to 40, but uh, 30 seems to be that good middle ground there that you can, uh, you know, find it most places for. I'll take a look at the color, and uh, I mean, it's a it's a honey color. I mean, it's a perfect honey color uh, whiskey. Um, don't know the age statement on this. Um, I would guess somewhere in the uh, maybe four to six year age range. So. Um, you know, not, not too, uh, you know, not aged for too long, I should say. Um, but, uh, it's still, you know, still has a lot of character, this whiskey. And, uh, I'll go over to the nose. So right away on the nose, you get, you get a lot of vanilla and toffee. You do get a, definitely a, a honey kind of sweetness along with like a corn sweetness to it and uh, definitely you can definitely smell uh, some of that rye spice in there so uh, you know nice uh, nice smell for the whiskey uh, take a sip that's a good whiskey um, you know, you taste, uh, you do taste that vanilla, a lot of vanilla, vanilla there on the palate. Um, you know, toffee, uh, a lot of rice spice. The rice spice is even, uh, more prominent, uh, on the palate than it is on the nose. You know, uh, you smell it and it has that, uh, you know, that normal, uh, rice spiciness to it on the nose that uh, most bourbons do. Um, or a lot of bourbons do anyway, 
Um, but uh, there's a, a lot more rye in there uh, than I thought, you know, probably, I mean, shoot, this could have as much as, I mean, 15 to 15 to 18 percent rye, maybe. Um, really good taste. Definitely get a some of that barrel, that oak barrel. I believe uh, I read that uh, uh, this whiskey is aged in uh, white American oak barrel, so uh, definitely get some of that barrel, uh, probably that barrel char uh, in the whiskey. And maybe some butterscotch, you know, getting back to the toppy. And a little bit of uh, uh, caramel, a little bit of citrus in there, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe like lemon, uh, lemon feel, lemon zest, you know. Anyway, but uh, if you guys can find this stuff, I mean, not only is it a pretty cool <laughs> bottle there uh, with a nice little uh, tin cup, you know, kind of, kind of a cool thing, but uh, it's. I mean, the price is right for uh, how good this stuff is. You know, I, I like it a lot. It's got a lot of character. And uh, definitely, if you see it in the, in the store for, for, you know, the price that we'd like to talk about, uh, give it a shot. Until next time, cheers. Here's the Jess Graver.